Well, as you can see, I got the top risers done. I was just looking. I actually got the new firmware updates. Uh, uh, not the 08 one. Nobody used the 08 version. It's the 13. Hold on. Took a picture of it. <laughs> Uh, it is one three or one dot three dot two dot two zero. Um, gives you the root access if you want it. At this time, I have not. Let me get you a little closer to this. Uh, we'll see the things that I did. I think snapped together really well. We'll see something a little different up here on top. So, like inside of a hat, if you needed to shrink it down to fit. I put felt up there. I don't know if it's needed. I don't know if it's warranted. But I did. There you go. I bought a little two-pack, 60 inches, half-inch wide, 3M tape on one side off Amazon. It was like six bucks. I used one more. And then the glass... Can go on top now. Definitely quiets it down a bit. Now I've noticed with the new firmware update, we have a chamber temp that we never had before. It's always been at 30 degrees Celsius. My bed's at 60. I print at 220 for my PLA plus that I use. Um, normally I'd have the door open some filming or some silly thing but I do notice it's at 32 I don't know if it'll increase the heat I don't know if that it's gonna make any difference now one thing I did find out that I didn't even realize the other thing with the version 3 upgrade hot end it's bimetal so the whole thing with PLA is if it's too hot in there the, the filament will creep back up into the extruder with the bimetal hot end, I'm not saying it can't happen, but it's not as likely to happen. So it may not even be an issue anymore with the with the uh, the bimetal hot end. Now, as far as the chamber, the whole area being too warm, we're going to find out. I've never had an enclosed chamber when I printed PLA Plus from. I have the ZYL tech brand that I'm using now. Definitely cuts the sound a little bit. I don't have a, a decibel meter of any kind, but I have those cheap ones on my phone. Everybody has them. But I've never found them to be all that accurate. Temp staying at 32, so putting a what is it, an inch and a half riser and putting the lid on it, closing the door. Chamber temp went up two degrees Celsius. Will that change over a 14 hour print? <laughs> I don't know. We got all the fans running, so. Also, software update. Um, after it was done, um, I did the, the auto bed leveling and the vibrating thing that it does, I can't remember what it's called, self-checks. Input shaper, there's the word. Followed the instructions on all the other places, you know, I, after it was done, complete format, formatted the reset to factory, did the self-test again, input shaping and bed leveling, and then uh, literally started this print for the sidearm. I got a little little twist. It's not the one Creality sends you. It's not really the one you see on uh, Thingiverse and some other places. It's the same one where it goes up the arm, holds the roll, but you put my end, it's going to go in it, but it's printing. The bearings, probably overkill, yes, yes, but I put these on all my printers. Also, because it does have a Bowden tube that just kind of hangs down there, on the other end of this, I'm going to have where this screws down into it, and then the loading tube can go into this, and then come off the reel, the, the roll of filament, go into this, come out into the loading tube, and 
hopefully just have a sealed system and no more issues. Um, the other part, my filament breaking in the hot end, or right at the hot end, I thought it was because I had the glass pushing on it and bending it. I think it's just my filament, because um, it sat for, it's been two days. <laughs> um, I pushed it through, it looked like it was working, it went to print, and it wasn't extruded. So I took it all apart, so it was like, okay, it broke, pushed it out. I had like 15 breaks. They weren't all at the hot end, they were throughout the boat. So I think that might just be a me issue with my filament. So no big deal, as I do on my other printers. Um, you can't see him. Yes, I know my room is a mess, but deal. Um, you see my filament sensor on my CR6. My filament's going in. After I'm done printing, I heat it up, pull all the filament out. It's a lot more work on these to clean out a plug bin than it is this. But I'll be doing the same thing on this. When I'm done printing, I'll just retract the filament all the way out back onto the reel so that uh, nothing's on there. I was just looking at the, uh, the picture here. I don't know if I can get you to zoom in that much. Let's see if I get you to drop down. The uh, picture for what I'm printing looks a little different. Now, now it's not filling in in color, like, you know, this is how far we are or what have you. You still got the percentage down here. There's the chamber temp that I was telling you. It actually went to 33. Beds at 60, filaments at 220. That's actually a little hot. Normally I do 210, but anyway, I'm going to leave it. Indicating the fans on and turning, LED lights on and lighting. Pause, stop. The only thing on here is it doesn't tell you what layer you're on. But if you're using Orca, I don't know why I did it that way. I'll just show you on the screen. Using Orca, it does tell you what layer on. In this case, I'm on layer 16 of TX75. Cleaning time so far has been 23 minutes. It's expecting it to be an hour and 35. It does it does adjust itself when it gets down to it. If it's not right, it'll readjust the video in different time. That's kind of cool. I like Cura. Cura just says, oh, we're done. And then prints for another 10 minutes. But well, we're done. Prints for another 10 minutes. Orca <laughs> um, Slicer, definitely recommend it. Um, more controls and quality prints seem to even print a lot better. Prints, they just are. I don't know how to explain it. Kind of like Hero over all the others. In my opinion, prints better. Orca prints better than Hero. I've used Hero for six years now. Yeah. Orca made me switch. I, pretty much when I got this printer. Got your time lapse. Now the only thing really between rooting and not rooting, you can't change the layout. What you see on my screen is what you get. If you have rooted access, you can change that, you can change the colors, you can put them in different places. The big thing is macros. Look into it if you don't know. I haven't done it yet, but I am looking into it. Um, at the moment it works. So, <laughs> just want to share real quick that riser and the software update and root options. If you decide to. Oh yeah, and uh, time lapses. Supposedly fixed. This is my first print, so I don't know yet. If it is, I'll throw it on the end. 